Shalom everybody. Hi, this is Jerusalem Jane coming to you on a beautiful afternoon here in Jerusalem. Today is a very special day. Today, according to the Western calendar, the Gregorian calendar, it is precisely one year ago where Israel was completely shocked by another heinous, heinous terrorist attack. I have been sharing every time there is a terrorist attack, I literally feel like my heart is being shattered and it's very difficult for me when I have to share about these horrible terrorist attacks and, you know, parents has to bury a child or ch child children have to bury a parent. But up until exactly one year ago, I didn't know anyone personally who was affected by these terrorist attacks. All of that changed last year on this particular day and those of you who have been following me for a long time of course knows uh, what I'm talking about but I'm making this video because I have gotten thousands and thousands and thousands of new followers on all my social media platforms since I made my last since last year one year ago a very close friend of mine Ari Folds was brutally stabbed to death while he was out shopping in a supermarket near Afratz, where he was living with his wife and children, which is in Gus Eshion. And that day, my whole life changed. That day, the world was not only Israel, but the world was just completely crushed. Uh, like I said, we have many, many horrible, horrible terrorist attacks, and, and nobody is more important than anyone else but Ari was the voice of Israel a lot of you followed him on social media and you knew how he was working tirelessly for standing up for truth for justice for basic history for facts when it comes to Israel all of those things that all of us should be doing I met Ari at a big rally uh, about two and a half years ago, a little bit more than two and a half years ago, and um, I had no idea who he was, but somebody had told him about me, and uh, that just became a life-changing meeting for me. Ari interviewed me twice on his radio program on uh, Israel News Talk Radio. And he said to me many times, you might not have Jewish blood in your vein, but you're part of the tribe, Jane, uh, leaving everything in Denmark, coming here to try and be a voice for Israel. Ari and I used to sit right here and do live videos together. And uh, I would actually have had him sitting next to me right now because tomorrow there is an election taking place here in Israel. Uh, all of Israel is going to the second election in a year. And uh, every time something was going on that I didn't really know about, which is a lot of things regarding Israel, I was making live videos with him because I could ask all the questions and he had all the answers. So one year ago, the Lion of Judah, the, the, the mighty lion that was roaring out of Israel, uh, standing up for the Jewish people, being a proud Jew, uh, having a grandmother who survived the Holocaust, Ari told me many stories about his grandmother and the things that he had been through in war. Ari had been in several wars and he experienced many traumatic things. But he was my go-to guy when there was something regarding work that I didn't know about. And all of you who are watching us on social media, you loved him. You loved the videos that you were making. You kept asking me, when are you going to make another video with Ari Fold? Because the knowledge this guy has, the passion this guy has is just in, it, incredible. It's just amazing. But one year ago today, that voice was killed as he was simply out shopping for food for his family. Killed for no other reason than being Jew, being a Jewish person back home in his homeland, in Judea and Samaria, settling in the land that God gave to to his people. Jewish people have been living for thousands of years in Judea and Samaria, which the world is calling the Occupied West Bank. And I was a proud Jew. I was really actively 
uh, this guy never slept. He he had such a passion for Israel, for the Jewish people, for standing for the truth and facts. So, as this is a one year where we remember that he was murdered, it's just another pain deep, deep, deep inside your guts. And I'm telling you, if he had been alive, he would be in. Uh, so many people were saying you need to get involved in politics because your voice is so desperately needed here in the whole land. I'm sure if he had been alive, he would have been elected to Knesset tomorrow, and he would have been up there telling them what is truth and what is right. But unfortunately, his days were numbered last year. So Ari, we love you. We miss you so much. You were so important. So Ari was involved in... Um, trying to raise money for a truck uh, where they he used to take this truck and they drove out to soldiers who was out in the desert in the heat or in the cold or just finishing a, a big exercise and he was driving up with his truck and they were um, uh, giving chocolate and pizza or falafel or whatever they had to these soldiers and he was trying to raise money to buy a new truck so uh, his family and the Ali Folk Project has made uh, this uh, campaign where they're trying to raise the last bit of money that needs to be uh, collected so this truck can be bought and finished. Uh, so I will share a link for all of you out there who says, you know what, we loved Ali Folk, we watched his video, we were excited with him, we were angry with him, we were crying with him. He was incredible. So all of you who would want to donate into that for Ali's stream to come through for the soldiers. I'm going to find a link and I'm going to post it uh, when I post this video. So Ali Fall, we honor your memory. Your memory is a huge blessing to the whole world. Of course, we wish you were right here among us and uh, being elected into Knesset, but you surely, surely made your mark as a proud Jew living in the Jewish homeland for such a time as this. I'm going to end this video by saying for everybody out there, tomorrow it is election here in Israel. It is a very, very important election. Israel is surrounded by enemies. Things are definitely heating up regarding Iran, Hezbollah. Hamas down in the south are still shooting in rockets. So please, please pray for the Israeli election tomorrow that we will have the right outcome. People who will do what is right for the Jewish state and not bow to pressure from anyone but just standing tall and saying we are the Jewish people we are back home in the land that God gave an internal grant and we are going to do what is right so all of you warriors out there all of your prayer partners out there please rattle up the troops and pray for this very very important election if Benjamin Netanyahu is going to be uh, elected he's going to go into his fifth term he's going to be the longest serving prime minister here in Israel, which is quite an accomplishment. For all the Jewish people, vote, vote, vote. You have to go and cast your vote. You can't complain about things if you don't go and vote. I can't vote. I'm not Jewish. But for all of you Jewish people out there, go and vote. Ari Fold, we honor your memory. Your memory is a blessing. Thank you for everything you did for the Jewish homeland. Jerusalem Jane signing off. Bye.